few years ago in the late 70s, I think it was between 1977 and 1980, something like that, an artist called Gustav Metzger organised what he called an art strike. Those three years were supposed to be the three years without art. And the, I mean, it's, uh, it was a kind of um, situationist, interventionist artist, conceptual artist. He did what's called auto-destructive art, which I won't talk about right now. But the idea of the art strike was that um, was that uh, what he felt was that the, that art in all its forms had become commodified, it had become an instrument of the state, it had become um, a kind of cosmetic covering that the state would put a wrap around itself, even in its most um, kind of radical and apparently um, anti-establishment forms. Um, the, the close interplay of art and the state and society at large was such that it was constantly compromised. And for Metzger, the only way around that was to, um, well, he did a number of things first, but it, it culminated in this three-year art strike. So the only way we can disentangle art from the state is by not making art for a while. And uh, he set aside 77 to ways to do it. And lots of artists joined in and didn't make art for those three years. And there's been a number of those. I mean, going back a bit earlier to the earlier part of the 20th century, um, you know, Marcel Duchamp, one of the most famous artists of that, that early part of the 20th century uh, at a certain point in his career he was so frustrated not for quite the same reason as Metzger but quite frustrated about the um, the inability of art to make any kind of difference and to say anything you know to, to to really promote social change but also to really promote aesthetic and um, and personal change that he gave up art completely and devoted his life to chess pretty much uh, but also there's been other kind of occasions in, in the late 80s, about 1989 I think, there was uh, quite a famous uh, day without art, which was specifically targeted as a kind of memorial, but also a sort of protest and a cry of pain as well really, about the AIDS epidemic, which was really big in the 1980s and is still big now, but it's kind of off the, off the, uh, the agenda of the popular newspapers, which it was very much firmly on at that time. And so, as I said, there was a, a day without art in around about 1989. Uh, not, again, not for political reasons, not to disentangle art from the state and, from, and to prevent that kind of toxic contamination that you get when the state gets its hands on things, or, could, or can do, or when the corporate interests get their hands on things. But, um, but just as a way of kind of uh, pausing, really, and, and taking stock for a day. Which got me thinking, I mean, I'm just thinking about this in relation to pornography, actually. I've made a whole bunch of videos about pornography a while back, and I'll, I'll put a link to the, the playlist. Um, I've got a lot of misgivings about pornography. I don't like it. I don't know why I don't like it. And I know the statistics. I know the figures about how damaging it can be. I know all that kind of stuff. I also have um, slightly more tangled misgivings about it in relation to its, to its co-option by... Um, not the powers of the state, but the, by, by corporate interests, you know, when I see pornography on magazine stands, I just think about the fat fucks who are making a fortune out of it, you know, effectively commodifying our sexualities and selling it back to us at a profit. I don't like that, and I don't like the whole exploitation aspect of it, really. So um, I have a lot of misgivings about pornography, whilst, of course, not being uh, blind to its arousing charms. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just thinking, you know, what's... Maybe we just need a breather. You know, maybe we just need a breather. I mean, what would it be like if we decided that, uh, you know, 2010 to 2013 were the years without porn? You know, it's kind of picking up on Gustav Metzger's art strike, the years without art. If there was just three years, we thought, we don't know, we, don't, we, we just don't know about pornography. We're just not so sure. We're not condemning it out of hand, like art. We're not condemning art out of hand. We're not condemning porn out of hand. I'm not saying the state is necessarily bad or corporations are necessarily bad. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. But we're just going to take a bit of a break. We're just going to step back from the porn industry for just for three years. Just let the dust settle and see what things are like at the end of the three years. I don't know what you think. I'd, I'd really like that, actually. I think it'd be fantastic. Just We just decided collectively, you know, no coercion involved. We just decided collectively that we were just going to give up any contact at all with pornography for three years 
fat chance of not having any.